an iconic local building now on Indiana's top 10 endangered landmark list. Zach Sim spoke with officials in Sullivan County about the concerns over this piece of history and what they plan to do to save it. Zach. Yeah, that's right. They say that they fight to save this building is much more than about bricks and mortar. For more than 100 years, College Hall at Miriam Camping Retreat Center has been an important part in the lives of people of Sullivan County. Constructed between 1859 and 1863 for Union Christian College was one of the first places to offer higher education in the state. Over the decades, the building, which sits on a high bluff and overlooks the Wabash River, housed a religious camp, a soil conservation service, and is now home for campers, weddings, reunions, and other events. There had to be something that inspired our forebears to build this college building. There's still something here that draws me, our team, our campers, our retreaters, and even guests who just happen to be driving through town. On Monday, Indiana Landmarks announced that it is now one of the top 10 most endangered landmarks in the state. Its executive director, David Grimm, says being on this list is both a positive and a negative. The fact that we landed on their list means that, yes, our building needs help, but it means that our building is cared about, not only by, by the people in Miram, but our building is cared about by the people in Indiana. This is a, an Indiana treasure that deserves to be saved. Indiana Landmark says the building's deferred maintenance has led to crumbling and collapsed masonry, leaking windows and plumbing, and failing mechanical systems. However, with the new designation, Miriam Camp officials say they are now applying for numerous grants to fund projects that will improve and refurbish the building. We're very excited to be applying for $10,000 size, $100,000 size, and million dollar size grants. And we're grateful to both uh, Tommy Kleckner, Indiana Landmarks, and the Indiana Historic Society for pointing us in the right directions to qualify and pursue those grants. Yeah, while waiting for funding, Grimm says his group also plans to begin working with architects and building engineers to show them how to properly care for this local landmark. Back to you guys. All right.